Now it's my pleasure to introduce three organizers with We the People Maine. Naomi Cohn, Beatty Parker, and Jan Carpenter. One year ago at this rally, We the People Maine announced the beginning of its petition campaign for a constitutional amendment declaring that corporations are not people and money is not speech. We sign up our first volunteers here. Since then, we've had more than 400 volunteers helping us spread the word about this effort and to gather signatures from voters in every county in the state. We've been told by professionals that it is truly awesome that our all-volunteer grassroots group has collected more than 33,000 signatures. We applaud the success of the Clean Elections Petition Campaign and the rapid progress of the Ranked Choice Voting Petition Campaign. These are excellent steps in getting back our democracy. But our democracy will not be won back without a reversal of the Supreme Court's decisions over many decades that have established corporations as people with constitutional rights. That's why we are continuing the We the People Maine campaign through this spring. What we need beyond signatures is a more widespread understanding of the reasons behind the call for corporate rights to be secondary to people's rights. Corporate power is at the root of the challenges most of the people here are working on, and if we can provide information and awareness about this, we will have increasingly numerous voices saying that corporations should not have the same rights as people. We will also be encouraging our supporters to speak with state legislators about three bills that have been submitted using different wording to make the request for an Article 5 constitutional amendment and to lobby for language that best supports revoking corporate personhood. I just want to add, we've had this cheerleading which adds in all the different elements that we fight, that we fight corporate power in, in these different issues. Sorry. And I, I, can, I don't really need to go through them again, but I will. Corporate power is a force for climate change. Uh, the Keystone Pipeline, military spending, peace work, protecting town water, that's what you are all about. But you need the, found, the legal foundation we need to work on getting rid of corporate personhood. The east-west cor uh, corridor, job export, voting rights, selection influence, local sovereignty, re regulating toxic substances, that's where I've been for a long time, gun control, adequate regulation of Maine's waters, mountaintops, forests, GMO labeling, protection from pesticide exposure, protection from EMF exposure, universal health care, local food mo movement, and financial regulation, which is really big, and that's another place which is driving where we're going for growth, for economic growth. So we really need people to understand this legal foundation and work for it. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, good morning. I'm Naomi, I'm Naomi Cohen. I'm uh, one of the attorneys. Um, Phil Warden over there is the other attorney who, who uh, wrote the We the People Maine proposed amendment. Um, you've heard Beattie speak about all the problems that corporate money causes. I want to talk to you about an opportunity. Um, Representative Ralph Chapman and Representative Dean Reikinson are two very brave members of our Maine legislature who have uh, right now have, have submitted um, the We the People Maine am Amendment to the Maine legislature in addition <laughs> so this is a marvelous opportunity. There also are two other wordings with similar goals. So this I do not want this bill killed before it reaches the floor. Last year, it was killed before it reached the floor by the Democratic leadership. We can stop that from happening. 
If every single one of us picks up the phone when we leave this, this rally, when we get all through the week and calls every legislature we know and tells them, make sure this bill, the We the People bill, makes it to the floor for a vote, we can change all of these problems. Thank you.